using the word medical tourism, my preference is to use medical value travel. MVT is a better word than medical tourism because MVT eliminates the financial lure out of it. These are my personal opinions. Yeah, good point. Very good Coming point. from an outsider, but I'm constantly zooming in into India, is how can we generate this? Because this has to become an industry. As I mentioned in my keynote lecture, it has to become a conduit, a flow of patients and a flow of money. Only then will you call this an industry. Currently, it is a fractured industry. Right. Some people make money, some people don't. We really can't call it an industry. Right. And I think some groundwork has to be done Absolutely. to make it a yeah. reality. Thank you very much. Dr. A quick Srinivas word from you, sir, then we'll go on to the floor. Dr. Srinivasan, uh, let me interrupt you for a moment yeah, here please. now. Please, yeah, go ahead. Okay, in fact, we're running out of time now. Uh, yeah. On my right-hand side, I can see, you know, the veterans here, uh, Dr. Harish Vinde. Next to him is uh, the chairman of Global Hospital Group who runs the successful hospitals, Dr. Ravindranath. Then the veteran, Dr. Mukesh uh, Batra, who is a well-known figure. Cardio itself is also an alternative medicine. And Dr. Kausal Pandey is there. Then Dr. Mukesh Sariawala, who is a healthcare economist. And the father of Indian orthopedics, Dr. Nankisol Lad. Now the bigger question, what the audience wants to know, they might not ask it now. There seems to be a class between the allopathic medicines and the alternative medicine. Dr. Mukesh Sariawala did speak about uh, there might be some side effects, there might have some problems with these alternative medicines. How come then Dr. Mukesh Batra became so successful in the global market and built a big brands? So my question is only for the two persons to be very precise for two words. What is your, can there be a truce between the two, you know, the disciplines of the medicine that is alternative as well as the allopathic medicine? To Dr. Mukesh Batra first. There's not a, it's not a question of truce, but there's already a symbiotic relation all over the world. Uh, Bombay Hospital, for example, has a homopathic division. You know, Global has one now, they said. And lots of, uh, you know, international companies are actually now promoting, as you call, complementary healthcare. And it's called complementary healthcare all over the world, in any case. Uh, I just want to share with you that our experiment in Dubai, when we entered there a few years ago, uh, very few people knew about homopathy, so we had to build the market. One of the reasons and one of the ways ho how we did it was to actually hire one of the top PR companies, and we had to educate people on the goodness of homopathy before people actually started coming to us. And I think when you start telling those stories of, of ambassadors who are happy and the kind of goodness that you get from the science, and after some time when people start believing you, they actually start coming. And obviously the first people to come in were all Indians who had heard of the brand. But after some time, today we have a lot of international clientele in Dubai, and I'm happy to say that we got you know, the award for being the best healthcare clinic you know, in, in Dubai Healthcare City. Uh, I also believe that uh, one needs to participate in a lot of international flares, and I believe that uh, very, very few Indian companies actually invest in that. I mean, they don't invest in PR and they don't invest in, in trade fairs, uh, which are kind of B2B fairs, uh, where actually you can actually, you know, project yourself. And we did one in Muscat recently, and, you know, we got good results. So I just want to share that. To, that. Uh, to Dr. Mukesh Sarevala, do you buy this logic of Dr. Mukesh Batra then? Uh, I'm happy to applaud... Uh, uh, Dr. Mukesh Batra for his super success. I think one of the important ingredients of his success is the branding story. I think branding of Dr. Batra's clinic and the homeopathic carried homeopathy with it as opposed to it in the reverse order. Today, homeopathy <coughs> internationally will become an acceptable form of medicine not for every homeopathic, but the brand Dr. Batra. So it is the brand creation and, as I mentioned, the packaging of the whole thing which will make a success story. Right. Now we'll conclude with uh, Dr. Nankisor Lat, what he summarizes about this entire medical tourism and so-called there is no truce and no agreement like that. Can you have Dr. Lat, please? I think this has been a very exciting uh, experience. I think tourism is something which takes goodwill, which promotes education, which brings new enlightenment. When you talk about medical, the finance aspects come. But as you know, this national tourism, where you show the art, culture, music, and medicine, could be one of the biggest aspects. 
and what agency do we have which can do that? More than the people. My feeling today is like what is our potential? We have not been able to tap our potential at all because there has been no methodical study about the strengths of these countries while there is a lot of discussion about the weaknesses of this country. And I think we as professionals and everywhere should be aware to project the positive aspect of medical contribution of this country. Because if you have a science which is 5,000 year old, it can never be beaten with a science which is 200 years old. The difference between immigrant society and urban society. I have a feeling, one more feeling is that in addition to treatment, education, today the problems in this part of the world with moving population all over the world, the doctors in the United States also learn to know some disorders on this side, some problems on this side which they confront because the world has become a global, you know, Vasudeva Kutumbaka has become a global village. So, this exchange of education in addition to treatment could be one of the important things which will not only enlighten our community but foreign community because whole world is a migrating population. So I think the most important part is you have to be open. And I'll end by saying what my teacher Dr. Golakia told me one day. When you are discussing a difficult question, there are three answers. Your answer, my answer, and the right answer. <laughs> Very true. You, you have got Very to find true. out what is the right answer on this medical tourism, medical education. He's put in excellent suggestions. Everybody has put in excellent suggestions. The foundation came from here. On that thank profound you. note, thank you, sir. I thank everybody here upon the stage, and thank you. Sorry we cannot take any more questions. We are run out of time. Thank you. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We have another 25 minutes go for the next panel discussion on the Mumbai debate. Thereafter, we'll uh, have this uh, Nidhi Saxena's presentations on the compensation science versus humanity. The subject for this Mumbai debate is Mumbai versus London versus Shanghai, governance and administrations, and finally the safety partner. Can I call on Daesh, celebrity columnist and social activist, Nisha Jambal, please. Mr. Mayank Gandhi, member of the National Executive of Aam Aadmi Party. Please come. Ignalo Rajesh, Chairman and Managing Director of St. Angelus Computers. Nisa, can you have on the stage, please? People are waiting for you. Dr. Rasmi Sethi, if you're there, if you could come in, please. And Dr. Srinivasan just to moderate it, yeah, for the Mumbai debate, yeah.
this I can do. So it's a great to have you. Right, can I sit here? Is it all right? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, as they say, when it rains, it pours. So I only hope you aren't uh, sick and tired of <laughs> me sitting here <laughs> and talking to you. But we have distinguished members of the panel here to uh, do real justice to the whole thing. Now, I'm told the, um, the uh, topic for t this session is one thing. Let me get my glasses, catching up with my age. If you don't mind, I will ask some provocative, stupid layman's questions. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think sometimes they are the toughest ones to answer. <laughs> Stupid questions are the toughest ones to answer. And I can ask because I'm a layman. Uh, pardon me. Yeah. <laughs> All the better. Uh, you, you can't give a stupid answer. I heard you. I heard, in fact, I didn't hear you yet. Okay, it says the Mumbai debate, Mumbai versus London versus Shanghai. I don't know why they dropped New York. Yeah, any particular reason? Maybe I'll ask you that. The terror fear and the road ahead. If you don't mind, uh, let me straight away ask you, why did you not or did they not put in New York here? Why only Mumbai versus London versus Shanghai? London is on closer to Europe. Okay, Shanghai is part of Asia. Mumbai is, of course, South Asia. There is no Americas here. Why not Chicago? Why not uh, Denver? <laughs> why not Cleveland, where I lived for many years? So I'd rather have uh, Mumbai versus London because that's more realistic. Uh, China is a dictatorship, so there's no opposition there. It's easier to, you know, get things done. But would I go and live in Shanghai? No, definitely not. I would stay here. I enjoy my freedom. I enjoy the fact that we live in a place where we are free to think and to express our differences. Uh, and we are not straight-jacketed. Having said that, um, I've just returned from Zurich yesterday. And uh, I feel that the amount of discipline, which is something that... Uh, um, Dr. Dr. Hariali, is it? That's his name. Yeah. yeah, he spoke very strongly, and I completely agree on that one, only that one point with him, on discipline, because uh, we completely lacked self-governance and discipline. Uh, having said that, uh, the important point that I want to make here is that uh, why have we not compared ourselves to New York? I think it's it's very far away from what we stand for. We, you know, we are not we are we are a young country. We've got independence only lately. I'd rather compare to a, a city like Zurich or London where they seem to have a sense of discipline and self-governance. I think it's time for us, if we want to play in a global arena, to bring that sense of discipline and that sense of um, sel uh, you know, self-governance rather than always looking for uh, you know, blaming, bashing governments and constantly looking for people to give us discipline. Uh, can I... Can I? Very good points. I still have a little bit of a, uh, you know, a fly in the ointment, if you like. <laughs> yeah, not being a pharmacologist. <laughs> you know, you are still talking of Western countries. You know, you are still talking of Western cities. To me, sir. Now I am going to come to you. Tumala Marathi hai tasel, and Salen. Me mudda mun Marathi bolte hai. Karan ki ite apun Mumbai shara madhe asle mande don vakya tere Marathi bola. Excuse me. No problem. ने आपण शांघाय शांघाय म्हणतो कोण राजकारणी लोकांनी शांघाय म्हटलं म्हणून आपण पण शांघाय म्हणायचं का बिकॉज नाव लेट मी स्विच बॅक टू माय मुंबई इंग्लिश इफ यू लाईक विच इज इन टेरी गुड टेरिबली गुड एनिवे ना वाय वाय आर वी गेटिंग हंग अप ऑन शांघाय इज इट बिकॉज शांघाय इज एशियन अँड देन वी वर मोरलेस इट द सेम लेवल सम इयर्स अगो अँड टुडे दे आर गॉन लाईक दिस अँड टुमॉरो गॉड नोज इवन माय ओन सन वॉज टेरिबली इम्प्रेस्ड यू नो माय ओन सन हू इज प्रिटी इज इन टू लेट थर्टीज पुशिंग फॉर्टी He went to Shanghai and he said, oh, Dad, oh, what a city. I said, what happened? He was literally you know, collapsing and gasping, looking at Shanghai. I said, yeah, come on, be realistic. I said, do you want to live in Shanghai the way they built Shanghai? He said, no. Then I said, chup bete. Now, I, here I want you to comment whether we can, we should, or we, we ever bother at all about a place like Shanghai. Let them build 25 bridges and 40 different under water tunnels, what difference does it make to us? Here we want our Ganpatis, we want our immersion, immersions. What do you think? Sorry huh, if I am putting it bluntly. No, no, I, I think, uh, I believe I've been to Shanghai quite often. And Shanghai was somewhat like Mumbai, less developed till the middle 80s. Before the government decided to do up the infrastructure, and I think more than 
there are more than 3000 buildings which are over 30 stories i think it's a ghastly sight looking at shanghai and i don't think that mumbai can become shanghai mumbai is a unique city and it has to grow in a very unique manner suddenly i mean i'm going to take a little bit of time please please do all your this country has been invaded over a thousand times and when i look at all these foreign consultants who come to india i think we are going to be invaded invaded one more time i just always quote this uh, analogy which i have that when gandhi came from south africa and he wanted to fight this battle against the british an independence <coughs> battle what would have happened if he had engaged a foreign consultant he would have taught him how to kill how to murder how to have more weapons how to do guerrilla warfare how to attack from here there everywhere instead what gandhi did was he went back to the country he traveled for 3 years and he created weapons he created the weapon of renunciation he created the weapon of truth satyagraha he created the weapon of non violence ahimsa and this brought us independence because these were the weapons which echoed with the soul and the heart of this nation the ethos of this nation so i shudder to think what would happen 